Hello, so I just received my um, electric XP 2.0 non step through bike uh, just a couple days ago. It's been great so far. And I'm buying uh, accessories on Amazon for it. So today um, I'm going to see about installing this alarm. It's the motorbike bicycle anti theft alarm. Somebody on YouTube, another a YouTuber, um, recommended this for the um, electric bikes. It's like $18 on Amazon, so let's uh, take a look at it. Okay, I'll put the link in the description, as they say. Um, it's just, there's a part number on it. Maybe it didn't shine out. Let's open this thing up. Okay, so there it is. So you got your remote here. You've got the actual unit, which I hear is very loud. What's this, a guitar pick? I don't know what that is, honestly. There's some stick-on pads right there. And some zip ties. And a screwdriver. Looks pretty basic. And are there instructions? There are. There we go. Let's check this out. Okay, so the instructions are a little tricky to understand. It's a little tricky, but basically you arm it, pressing this button here, and you'll hear another little chirp. So now it's, it's armed. And any movement will make it go. Now, if you've got movement again within so many seconds, uh, oh boy, mm, uh, within 12 seconds, the alarm will con continue for 30 seconds. Uh, so it's then it says one ringtone type for two seconds, six ringtone types for 30 seconds. Okay, so we're over the 12 seconds. So what happens again? So now we hit it again. And it is loud. I got it turned away. It is really loud. Oh, there's the different uh, ringtone. And then disarm it. Boom. Uh, it looks like you also can change the sensitivity level. Um, when you do that, you know, it doesn't tell you what sensitivity level you're in. You have to just play with it. So I recommend don't even touch it. Oh, uh, let's see. It's got an SOS function, which is disabled when you first get it. But basically, if you tilt your bike over 45 degrees, the alarm goes off. Maybe it plays an SOS to tell people you've fallen. But if you've fallen, maybe sometimes you don't want people to see to know that you've fallen. So I'm going to leave that off. Anyway, I'm going um, I'm gonna to mount it to the bike. I think I'm going to do it under the seat. We'll see. Okay, I got the seat off the bike. I think I'm going to put it under the seat. I think I'm going to just stick it on right like that. It comes with these two pad, two of these pads, and that's what we're going to end up doing. Let's throw these on real quick here. There's one. I know you can't see that, but that's okay. You'll get the idea. There's two. Okay, so I put on these pads right here. And I'm going to take the other side off. Like that. was originally going to just strap it on with the zip ties, but this is better. Hopefully it'll stay on there. And I was thinking about doing it the other way, but maybe this is a better way. I don't know. Let's do it this way. Gives you a clear, clear shot of the sound, right? You can hear the sound. Okay, I'm gonna push that on. Probably best to clean the surfaces, but since both of these items are brand new, I did not do it. Okay, so there it is. Let's go put it back on the bike. Okay, so the alarm's on the bike. I will go ahead and set it. 
Wait for that second beep tone. There it is, it's set. So now if I go to steal the bike, hmm, if I do it again, I think that's gonna work. Okay, well there you go, thanks for watching.